Okay, so you see the one video I show you the way it looked when I first started. Here's the way it looks now. Okay. Um, I opened up the space, cleaned some of this in a driveway. Snow removal is very basic, but you still have to have a strategy on how to get things open up, especially when the plows come through. The way it did, the plow came through at 4 o'clock in the morning. And most vehicles, always, you know, it's, it's well over 12 inches of a barrier that came up after they plowed in front of the driveway here. So most vehicles aren't going to have the clearance. Tyler's yours won't for sure. Lisa could be okay. I'm not going to have, I'll, I might be okay, but then I might do some damage on the vehicle. So. Okay, and snow removal is a patient thing. You gotta take your time. You gotta strategize how, where you want the snow to go. And you, you can just see now, we have an idea of how the plows work. They're not a priority, okay? They take care of businesses and whatever first. And then these, these developments get hit. There's a list. Uh, that's just the way snow removal works. Same way it works. We're on a list. Detention center got people there who were on the list on um, how to do things, uh, how to how to get plowed in, how they plow. So this is my short instructional video. Patience. Same thing with a snow blower. You don't want to go right into a, sn a snow drift or bank because <clears throat> what will happen eventually is you'll damage the auger, and that's the the spinning pieces, the blades that spin to, to throw the snow out. You have to shave parts of what it is. So if you're doing a sidewalk, for example, you shave part of the sidewalk, come up the other side, shave in the other side, have, making sure you know that the discharge is, if, or if I'm looking at this head on right now, I'd have the discharge or the spout to my right, kicking out the snow. Then I would turn the machine around. I don't need to, I don't need to rotate the auger or the, uh, the discharge spout and do the same thing. But it, it would still be on my right hand side, kicking it out into the road or kicking it out onto the thing. Um, as you see, when they plowed, they um, caused an avalanche on the sidewalk work. It's not really a huge priority right now. Uh, getting in and out is. You can do that, wait until I get home. We'll see how things go. Hopefully it doesn't, there's no freezing rain, it's all snow, and it's just a matter of tackling a, uh, a few feet or a few inches at a time. It takes patience. So that's it, family. I'm getting ready to get cleaned up and uh, go to work. So I started at 4.30 a.m. and I was done at five. So there's a half an hour to do what I just did. Okay. It takes time and patience. You take a break. You don't have to kill it the whole time. It does no good if you're exhausted and can only throw the snow a, a foot or less, not even a foot, probably three or four inches because you're exhausted. 